guys, welcome to another interesting, educative, and informative episode here on Efom TV. My name is Efom Hine. I promised you earlier that uh, we are going to treat the topic of how to introduce fingerlings into the pond. So today, that is the topic that we are going to treat. How to introduce fingerlings into the pond. I mean, we have our fingerlings which have been transported in these um, black um, containers. A thousand fingerlings in each one of them. And we have four um, containers here. So it means we have 4,000 fingerlings that we are going to introduce into our pond today. Now, some of the things that you will need on the very first day that you are going to introduce your fingerlings on the pond are these. This is like a rubber sieve plastic sieve yes you are going to need this you are going to need this this is for fetching feed and it has measurement inside so if you want to measure the feed that you want to um, take in feeding the animals this has it then you are going to need this this is your fish net for fingerlings of course when they become bigger this thing cannot do um catching but when they are very young you need a small fish net like this that you use in catching them especially if you want to work in the pond or you want to catch some of them for whatever reason this is your fish net and you are going to need some antibiotic and vitamins and we have all the two mixed in this medicine that we are going to use to treat the animals sort of prophylactic treatment because you know we have traveled a very long distance bringing the fish from where we pick them from to this site so when you get here you are going to experience that they are a bit weak and stressed so we are going to use the vitamins to kind of re-energize them and then the antibiotics to kind of boost their immune system to withstand the new environment that they are going to be in so these are the things that you are going to need and so i'm going to show you how we are going to transfer the fingerlings from the container into the pond so we are going to drain the water from the fingerlings and when you pour it you see they will come with the water so this is how you do it you see they've started coming And you pour it very gently very gently okay so you pour use your judgment to see if you have enough then you lower it gently into the pond gently into the pond you see they will they will run off into the pond themselves and you see that we have some mortalities already because of the long distance that we transported them, we have some mortalities already. So that is how you continue um, the whole process.
see that we have transferred all 4,000 fingerlings into this pond. So after that, we are going to give them some prophylactic treatment, that is the antibiotics and vitamins. So we pour a little into the water, just like that. So, just a little, you know, this is, it is not for treatment or for anything. It's just to help boost their immune system and uh, re-energize them. Just as if you bring in new DO checks, you have to give them some glucose or some coconut water um, to kind of boost their immune system. And just, this is it's the same treatment. The same treatment. Okay. So... So you see that most of the catfish will immediately run off into the areas where the pool or the pond is cooler. So you see them hanging around where the pool is usually cooler. And that is why it is essential that when they are young like this, you provide shade. So right after this, we are going to cover um, the whole pond so that the sun does not directly hit them in the water. So in 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 conclusion that is how you introduce your fingerlings into the pond and offer some prophylactic treatment and after this you leave them in the pond for about 24 hours before you feed them this is also very important don't feed your fish or fingerlings immediately you introduce them into a new pond they will not eat so let them be in the pond monitor them for some hours normally 24 hours will do but maybe 10 12 hours if you monitor them for a while and you see that um uh, they are still active and whatever then you can feed them and when you and when you are feeding them for the first time please don't feed them too much it's just like um you know if you fast for a while and you are breaking the fast you have to eat gradually or little by little so that it does not cause any stomach upset or whatever it's the same so i i always say that you see in animal treatment there's a lot of common sense approach so when you are going to feed them after starving them for a while then you introduce the feed little by little make sure they pick it up and then you increase the amount gradually so you see that here i told you that we have a new regime that we are going to start the feed feeding of our catfish with and that is what we are going to start today so we are going to start feeding them foreign feed now and the reason why a lot of people don't start with foreign feed is that the foreign feed is twice as expensive as the local feed but the foreign feed gives them a very good start so we are going to feed these ones with our foreign feed coping foreign feed foil um our first one month on a regime or a pattern that we have drawn and then see the progress we're going to show you the progress too so as i always say if you want to learn more about catfish farming if you want to learn about how you can build construct and rear catfish on your own please click on the subscribe button share our videos and comment and then join us on our journey to bring you the adventures and experiences we are uh, having in our farming business See you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.